So what happened is three punks slash squeezes walking into the terrace. The first thing they did when they walked into the terrace, they start burping. But I never heard a burp like that. It was bigger than, the sound was bigger than the truck that goes by. And one was doing it after the other. So they were looking for troubles. So they go to sit in the terrace. So I said, listen guys, you know, I know how to do it. I do it professionally because you cannot go there and order them out. You know, guys, you know, terrace is this rare, you know, come back another time. None of them got mad and says, yeah, you don't want us to stay here. They start breaking everything. Like everything, all this, and then I say, stop, stop. And he was doing one table after the other. And then I went after him to catch him. He jumped over the terrace, I follow him. And then uh, the guy at the dorm, um, uh, the guard from uh, Jean Kuchu came and helped me. We arrest him. I told him to, to stay on the sidewalk until the police come. At the meantime, when I was doing that, I had 25 homeless and punks throwing stones at me, bottles and everything to, let, to release him, to let him go. And then I never let him, the police came. When the police came, uh, they sit one guy down and me and uh, thing, and they put the handcuffs on me, they put the handcuffs on him, and they put me in the car for 20 minutes until they find out what happened. Oh, I forgot one thing. When I told him to stop in the terrace, he threatened to kill me. This is a very popular process from them because that's how they keep the citizens away when they, because they make them scared. The minute they commit a crime and you're trying to, um, to arrest them, they tell you they're going to kill you. And they beg there, they get $20, and then they're going to see the drug dealer to buy drugs. And then we have an explosive situation. So we create a market for the drug dealers. Yeah. The solution, I don't know, we get them food, I mean, why would they grab, why they, the other day there was a steak at the other station, somebody was eating a steak and one, one of them passed by, grabbed the steak and he was eating it. They're hungry. Yeah. They have to eat those people. They're not, they have, they, they don't have the mental cap capacity to, to work and gain money and buy food. Uh, so we have to help them to have their capacity to be able to be on their own. It's a, it's a, it's a continuously affair. But I see the guy every, every second day, he's running, they're running after people with food. Those people have to eat. Now you're going to tell me where are we going to find all the money to treat all those people? Well, the government should participate more and, and perhaps me and Herman we can convince the, the business people to participate more on, uh, on helping the issue. Because they have a responsibility, the business people too. But the biggest responsibility is the government has it. The provincial and the federal. We don't have nothing against the city of Montreal. We don't have nothing against the police of Montreal. With the, the, the money that they have, they do whatever they can.